And what you see is a bunch of little yellow uh, triangles. Each one of those is where we set up the scanner and did a scan. And this is when you put it all together, this is what it looks like. If you imagine you're at a bird's eye view, you're three or 400 feet above the scene right now. And we can go down into one. and it'll show us exactly what you could see from that scan. And again, each one of the triangles is a different scan station. So that first image is almost like the black parts are just the parts that weren't scanned. Right, it's just it, no data. It almost looks like a Jackson Pollock painting when you started it, just you know, splatter paint, but it's really very you know, zoomed out images. Right, and when you look back at, say, uh, in this scene, a house or something like that, you can also turn those little triangles off so you can see it better. Now what about these lines coming out of the building? What do those represent? Those are trajectory lines that we put in uh, based off our analysis at the scene. We've done a um, projectile or bullet trajectory on it and show where it went, the angle it went, and we project those lines out from a rod that's actually in a hole in a wall. When we scanned it, we can project those lines out and we can change the colors to say, this is shooter one, this is shooter two. So it's kind of a combination of old school tech and new school tech. Correct. And, and, and you know, I've never investigated a crime scene, but when you say that rod, how does that exactly work? You, you just kind of angle it the way the, the bullet path would be, or what? Right, if you have two corresponding bullet holes through an object, you can stick a rod through them and kind of line them up, make sure they're in the center, and now you know the angle in which the projectile traveled through the object. And you can do that, this is going to sound like a dumb question, but you know, to me it's just kind of dumbfounding. You can do that for every bullet fired on a scene? No, rarely can we do it. You, again, you have to have two uh, bullet holes through the same object that you are pretty sure came from the same projectile. How helpful is this, and I'm going to ask JT maybe one of y'all this later on too, but you're on the front end, you are processing all this stuff. Do you ever get a sense of just how helpful this is to prosecutors? I, I do because, not just prosecutors, but the jury at large, because it's so hard to explain to someone what exactly we do and what it means when we find X, Y, and Z, that we can actually walk them through a crime scene and show them what we're looking at, it is invaluable. Can you spin through a couple more of these? Uh, sure. I'd love to see some more of them. I was talking to a police chief not long ago, and he said, you know, the time of a you know, cop getting on the stand and saying, hey, this is what happened, and the jury says, all right, is, you know, kind of going away. Now they want to see stuff, they want to hear stuff. It's very visual. You guys get a sense of that? Absolutely. Nowadays they require, well, I saw CSI last night, so therefore I, I expect more from you. And this is it. I mean, this is as CSI as it gets. So the system itself that you're using, walk me through what your process is on a scene. Because I'm seeing a lot of these yellow triangles. And each right. one means what? That is where we basically have the Leica scanner. It sits up on a tripod, not much different than what a camera does. And we set it up and put the parameters in it, what we want it to do, and we let it do it. And then it collects that data. And then we go to the next one. But before any of that starts, we work a crime scene like we've always worked a crime scene. We do, we look, do overall photographs, mediums, close-up photographs. We identify the items of evidence. We put placards on the ground identifying where they're at, showing their locations and distributions. And it's called a, a, a Leica True View. Well, this is the, the software we're using that we're looking at right now is the TrueView. That's like the finished product. The Leica scanner, there are several different models. We're going to show you two today. One's the Leica uh, 360 BLK and one's the C10 or C10. C10. How long does it take to run a scan on one of those things? <laughs> That's, it's according to the scene itself. If it's very simple one room, it can take one minute with my machine. If, if you're only doing one scan. I never have done one scan. The whole purpose is you got to get different sides of the table. You can't see through the table. It's kind of getting slices of the whole room right. together. Right, exactly. And then when you're talking about a C10 on a large scene where it's shooting hundreds of feet, it even takes longer then. 